Hi everyone, in this video let's understand how we can calculate the effective rate of interest and the nominal rate of interest using the inbuilt functions available in Excel. For this, I'll be taking two practical problems. In the first problem, there is a depositor who is entitled to receive 9% per annum as the interest on the fixed deposit made with a nationalized bank, while the bank credits interest on the fixed deposit on quarterly basis. So we need to calculate the effective rate of interest earned by the depositor on the fixed deposit given the nominal rate of interest as 9% and the frequency of compounding or the number of compoundings in a year as 4 due to quarterly compoundings and the effective interest rate is calculated using the function and that function is called as the effect function. The syntax of this function requires to enter the nominal rate of interest which is 9% in our case and n uh, per year that is the number of compoundings in a year which is 4. So the effective rate of interest is equals to 9.308% when the nominal rate of interest is 9% and the frequency of compounding is 4. So this is how we can calculate the effective rate of interest given the nominal rate of interest and the frequency of compounding. In the second problem we are given the effective rate of interest and that rate is 10.3813. And the number of compoundings is again 4 due to quarterly compounding and here in this case given the effective rate of interest and the frequency of compounding we need to calculate the nominal rate of interest and for the calculation of the nominal rate of interest the function that is available in Excel is called the nominal function. And the syntax requires to enter the effective rate which is 10.3813% and n per year that is the frequency of compounding or the number of compoundings in a year which is 4 due to quarterly compoundings and now press enter the rate of interest is 10% in our case when the effective rate of interest is when the effective rate of interest is 10.38% and the frequency of compounding is 4. So this is how we can use the effect and the nominal function to calculate the effective rate of interest and the nominal rate of interest respectively. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any query, please put it in the comment section. Thanks once again.